Hello everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and taking care of themselves. We are here once again for cooking with Ashley. We should be making pastelillos, empanadas, whichever way you want to pronounce it. It's pronounced different ways in certain countries. Um, and I am going to be taking you step by step. So first I'm going to take chopped meat and chicken because I like to have a little bit of both. You can either do one or the other or both. And the chicken I am going to let boil till it gets soft. I put a little bit of oil. And the meat I am going to add a little bit of just garlic and adobo. I am going to just mix it and I am going to put both of them to cook for about five to seven minutes each. Okay, so while I have the meat cooking, I am going to cook two potatoes and cut them up. I'm going to dice them up and then I'm going to put them to boil as well. So what I'm doing right now is just before I put it to boil, I am just taking off the skin. Okay, so while I have the potatoes boiling, I took the meats off and I put them in a separate container. And then I am going to shred the chicken. You can take a fork and just shred it. So once the potatoes are done, I am going to split it and put some in the chicken and some in the beef. Then I am going to take my beef bones. For the beef bones not to stick, I am going to add a little bit of flour on the base. I am adding a little bit of flour. So it doesn't stick and I'm going to place it down and I am going to add whichever meat of course with the potatoes inside. Once the middle is filled you are going to take it and you are going to fold it in half and then you are going to take your fork and you are just going to push down on the edges. And you're gonna do it to both sides so it looks like this. Okay? So this one is done. I made this one um, without cheese because I'm lactose. So you can either put cheese inside with the meat and the potatoes or you can just put the meat and the potatoes. It should be ready to fry. So this one I made with the cheese on top. I'm gonna get a closer look, put it over, and then at the edges, that's where you're gonna take the fork and just like press them down. Take some oil, and I am going to put some in a, a pan. Then I am going to turn it on to four and let it simmer a little bit. I'm going to take one and I'm going to place it down until the bottom side is like yellowish. Then we're going to switch it over. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, stay safe. And till next time, I will be giving another um, tutorial on cooking. See you later and stay safe.